kidnap Mr. Mr. Santa Claus. I want to do it, let's trust us. Jack said we should work together, three of a kind, birds of a feather, now and forever! <laughs> Okay, so starting off this look, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Uh, poreless face primer, and I'm just going to try and smooth out all these pores I have. <laughs> So I'm starting to paint my face with the Wet n Wild paint pot in the shade white. Uh, I started off with a sponge but quickly saw that it was going to be way too patchy. So I did eventually switch to a brush which I thought gave it a definitely um, a more smooth uh, finish. So I highly suggest using a brush when starting off with this. But I love the Wet n Wild paint pots. I think they are fantastic for Halloween looks. Now I'm dipping into my Mayron palette. This is the Paradise palette. This is a fantastic palette. It's worth the investment. And I'm gonna take the red shade and start carving out my eyebrows. Okay, now taking the light blue shade, I'm gonna start outlining Locke's smile. Now, if you will notice, one side is higher than the other side, so I'm gonna start with the higher side and work my way around. Now I'm taking a very small brush and the white paint and I'm going to start shaping out the teeth. These do not have to be perfect because you can always go through and sharpen them up with the black paint that we'll put on it later. Um, I do wish I would have made the two front teeth a little bit longer and sharper. I did have to go back and fix that later so just be aware of once the finished product <laughs> how long you need the teeth to be.
Now taking the black paint, we're going to fill in the mouth portion, sharpen up the teeth. Um, also, I noticed by looking at the picture, there is a black line between the mouth line and the teeth. So we're gonna make sure that that is there as well. Now I'm just taking a brown shade and we're going to contour the nose because he does have a skinny nose. So we're gonna actually start from the beginning of the eyebrow all the way down to the tip of the nostril. Now taking the Hip Dot uh, Zion palette, <laughs> we're actually going to use this light purple shade and use it for the lid and the lower lash line and we're just going to really blow this out and fade it into the white. All right, and that's it. That's how I created Lock from the Nightmare Before Christmas. This one actually was a lot easier um, and a lot of fun. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a big old thumbs up and I will see you on the next video.